Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca and if you're new here, I post videos all about luxury, beauty, lifestyle. So if you're into that kind of content, then definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my two-year review on the Gucci Marmont small shoulder bag. And I'm also going to show you uh, just a quick little run-through of me putting some items in this because I'm actually going to be switching to use this bag for the upcoming week. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this after two years and learn about the wear and tear on this bag, then definitely keep on watching. So to give a little backstory on this bag, I did purchase this in Paris back in May of 2019. I do have a one year review video up on my channel. I'll go ahead and link it above and below so you can check that out too if you want to compare how I felt at year one and the wear and tear compared to year two. So I know a lot of people do ask nowadays if this bag is still in or if this is considered to be a classic or if it's dying out. Personally, I do feel like I don't see these as much anymore, especially like on social media. I don't see this bag being featured nearly as much as I did two years ago and even a little bit before that when I purchased this. However, Gucci does continuously come out with this every year and they come out with seasonal colors. So it is obviously a staple in the fashion house, otherwise they just wouldn't continue making it. Personally, I do still really love this bag. However, I can definitely say that it's not a bag that I reach for all the time. And I don't know if that's because, you know, when I first bought this and I discussed this in my one year video, um, when I first bought this, this was only my second ever luxury bag and it was the only one I had other than my Neverfull MM. So of course, when I first bought this, I was obsessed with using it. I used it pretty much that whole year non-stop because I had been using my Neverfull for about two and a half years consistently prior. And the Neverfull and this are very different bags. This is a crossbody and the Neverfull is a tote. So obviously I used it a lot more. Now I have a Louis Vuitton Croisset. I have the Speedy 25. I have, that's it as far, well I have a Felici as well, but I'm talking similar sizing. So obviously now that I have more bags to rotate in my collection, I don't use this one all the time. However, I will say that this is my only black bag in my collection, so I do still find this to be a true staple for me personally. In fact, like I mentioned in the intro, I am going to be switching into this bag for the week coming up. So I still use it, don't get me wrong, and I still really do love it. Now would I go and you know, it's funny, I actually do toy between getting the like smaller version of this in like the rose pinky color. It's like a nudie pink, I guess I would say. So obviously the bag is still one that I do enjoy and if I even, you know, I consider even purchasing another version of this. So I definitely don't think this is out of style. I think this is going to be considered a classic. And even if this particular like you know, the Chevron, maybe they'll do something different down the road. This is a camera bag, like that's what they call it. It's a camera style bag. Those bags have been around forever in some degree or another, so I don't really think that this is going anywhere. And if you get it in like a classic color, like black, you know, this is something that's not really gonna go out of style per se. A black bag is always a good staple to have in your collection. And I just, I don't think, I don't really foresee this ever being a bag that I couldn't wear because I feel like it's just so, so dated. I think this is always going to be usable in my collection and I don't have any intention of ever getting rid of it. So now moving on to the wear and tear. So obviously in the last year that I've owned it, I did get other bags since then, like my corset bag I got May of last year, so it was it was actually at the one year mark of owning this. So once I got that bag, I was consistently using it, so this was getting a break. This does get rotated through my collection. A lot of times when I go out, I tend to use this bag over my other ones because it is relatively compact, and I feel like it it's not that I don't care about it, I just I feel like it can actually withstand quite a bit, so I don't really have a fear of using it, if that makes sense. So I do still use it, but it's not an everyday bag, obviously. I do want to point out that I did actually take this with me on my recent travel. I traveled for a week to Zion and Las Vegas, and I brought this bag with me because I figured, A, it's a crossbody that's always convenient when you're traveling. B, 
it's black, it goes with everything. So I will say that it did make me a little nervous because I, up until that point I had actually never traveled with my luxury bags. I always tend to use like my Kate Spade crossbody or something like that. One that I don't have like, it's not luxury, you know? So like at the Kate Spade one I got on sale on their website I think for like 50 or 60 bucks. So it's definitely a fraction of the cost to this. But since I don't have that like, oh my god, it's so new and fragile mindset around this bag, I was like, you know what, these bags are meant to be used, let me go ahead and bring it. Now, I will say that there is some wear, let me find it, there is a little bit of wear, like, I think it's just like a scuff mark and maybe I could even get it off if I use like a water wipe, however, I have not ever done anything to this bag. There is a little like scuff mark in the corners and I, I don't know if that's from the travel or if I just happen to notice it on the travel. I don't really inspect my bags that close every day. Um, I know I had never noticed it prior so I'm, I want to attribute it to the travel but it's, since that was like the first time I had really intensively used this bag in a while. So I will show you up close what I'm talking about. There is like a little bit of a scuff and like I said, maybe if I take a water, mark, a water wipe to it or even like a microfiber cloth, maybe I could get buff it out. I just haven't attempted to do that and I did want to show you some of the wear. The other like notable sign of wear on this bag is in the back. Now, I hope that you guys can tell. I, like I said, I'm going to try to insert like an up close view. The back, the side that sits against your body does cave in slightly. Now I will say that I have seen it worse on other bags and I think the reason that mine is not as bad as some other people's is because I tend to not carry it across the side. So if I'm wearing it cross body and I'm walking around, I will usually bring this to the front of me so that it's like on a flat. So if you, the reason that this gets indented as a curve is because if it's sitting against your hip, obviously your hip is more rounded, so it's going to start to contour to your body in that way. And I really hate when that happens, like I've seen some that look really bad and I just really don't like that look. So ever since I purchased this bag, I have made it a conscious effort if I'm walking around to keep this in the front of me as much as possible. Of course, and the reason why I do have some curving here is because it does sit on my hips sometimes. Sometimes it's unavoidable you know, if you're walking through an area or something or if you're like browsing in the store you might just push this to the side and I do do that so that is why that has happened to some extent. So my number one tip for preserving the like structure is one to try to like walk with it in front of you and not keep it on your hip as much and also keeping it stuffed and I do usually try to keep it stuffed as much as possible. I actually just use some like little stuffed animals that I have. So it does the job. You can use whatever, you know, whatever you want. I will say the inside of the bag is a little bit dirty, but I think it's all stuff that I could clean out. Like it's just a little bit of dirt or dust or whatever. And I'm sure if I just took like, I don't know how I'd get it out because I'd be scared to use a vacuum. I'm sure I could do something to like get some of the marks out. But of course, you know, since I don't use like a bag organizer with this, it's going to get a little bit of dirt on the bottom. I actually have thought about maybe purchasing a bag organizer for this specifically just to keep the shape, especially since it is getting older, you know, I want to make sure that I can keep the shape and, you know, this is not a very sophisticated way to stuff the bag, but it works. So overall the interior really isn't bad other than some of the dirt and stuff that's at the bottom. But no matter what, if you're not using a liner of some sort, that's going to happen. You're going to get dirt and stuff in your bag or dust. So it doesn't really bother me that much. And you know, especially since it is a lighter lining, I'm actually really happy that there's no like major um, you know, marks. And I will say I do not really carry pens in my bag. And if I do carry a pen in my bag, it is in something else. That is a huge fear of mine. I am terrified of pens ever exploding in my bag or getting like clicked open. So I never, ever, ever use a pen in my bag just open, like floating around. And anytime I put like lipsticks or cosmetics, they're always in something else as well. So I think that has also helped attribute to the wear of the interior. Now, of course, if you just really don't really care about the interior getting dirty, then go for it. Use your bag however you want. 
personally, since I, I can't just buy, you know, new luxury bags every week, I do want to make sure that I am preserving the life, especially if I do intend to ever maybe have to sell it one day, or, you know, maybe one day I won't want this bag. I don't ever foresee that happening. I think this is a forever bag for me, but you know, who knows where my mind will be in five years. And I want to, of course, keep this as nice as possible to keep the resale value as high as I can. Now, I feel like from what I've seen with Gucci, specific, very much Gucci, not even just this bag, is that I don't think they hold their value as strongly as like Louis Vuitton or Chanel. And I don't know why that is. I think it's just they just, they just don't hold their value as well. There's maybe... Maybe it's just that there's not as high of a demand in the pre-sale market, I don't know, or the pre-loved market, but I don't think you're going to get all your money back out of this. And they don't really do major price increases, not like Chanel especially, and even Louis Vuitton. I feel like this bag, if it has increased at all, it's probably only been like 50 to 100 bucks, which isn't that bad, especially when you're talking about other fashion houses. So that can also attribute to the resale value. Since this bag is not increasing you know, like Chanel sometimes will do 10, 20% increases. So when that happens, you could easily sell a bag for at least what you paid for it. Since Gucci doesn't do that, at least not this time, I feel like it'll be harder to get, you know, all your money back out of it. And you know, the more wear you have, the lower the value you're gonna get as well. But like I said, I don't use this with the intention of getting rid of it. So looking at the hardware, honestly, it actually looks really nice. I feel like there's really not that many scratches. Of course, there's a couple. I mean, that's just inevitable. Any of your hardware, especially that's on the front and could get bumped. And I've definitely bumped this bag into things like the wall or, you know, whatever. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the minimal number of scratches. Like I said, I will insert like some up close shots so you can actually see. And I will say like the front of the leather... I feel like I do have one little like, I don't even know what it is, if it's like some weird scuff or scratch, but really the leather looks pretty pristine and I am not careful with this bag at this point. You know, when I first got it, of course, anytime you get something new, you're going to be like protecting it at all costs. Now I just use my bag. I don't really think about it. So sometimes it gets, you know, thrown into my car's seat or like I said, I bumped walls with it on accident. So the leather actually looks really, really phenomenal other than like the little scuff I have on the corner. And on the back, I don't have any scuffs on the back of the bag at all. And that's probably because this is the side that stays against me. And this is the side that is forward. The other thing I really do like about this bag is that if you are in an area where maybe you don't feel comfortable just showing off or drawing attention to your luxury item, you could turn this around and this is a lot more subtle than this. You know, like even looking in the camera, it's like almost hard to tell what it is, you know, so somebody who's just walking and passing probably won't notice this. Whereas if they see gold hardware, you know, this is pretty obvious of what it is. So I do like that fact as well. And I have definitely turned the bag and carried it this way before. Just Sometimes it's just accidental, like I'm not paying attention when I put the bag on and it still looks fine. So that is something I really do like about the bag. And I'm looking all around. The bottom still looks really nice as well. So really the only notable wear is just on that corner, This mainly this corner. I don't think this one really has anything. There's one little scuff on this corner. So after two years of use and putting it through travel, you know, airplanes and all that, I think it actually looks pretty good. This little pull tab still looks nice. The hardware on the chain is good. And the only other thing that annoys me about this bag is this. Because there is nothing to hold this down, and I have to have this on the shortest setting, otherwise it's just too long, this has curved up over time. Unfortunately, that's just something I, you really can't avoid. This chain, I mean this strap, that's just, you're going to have to live with it unless you put it on the longest setting. And I, like I said, for me, that is too long. This is already a decently long strap. Let me pull out my measuring tape and tell you how long it is. It is about 23 inches. That's a decent strap drop, honestly, and I'm only 5'2", so, you know, it's, I don't need it any longer than that. So this little, like, flap up is something that I just have to deal with. It would be nice if they had another loop that went, like, right here so that when you do have it on the shortest setting, it would be, you know, 
could stay tucked down. But other than that, the strap looks really, really nice. I don't have any notable flaws or anything. So this bag is definitely like a nice everyday bag honestly like i said for one year i did use this every single day pretty much so you can check out my one year review where i talk about the wear and tear after a year and really not much has changed except maybe you know maybe this is slightly more indented and like i said i do have this scuff which i definitely didn't have at the one year mark so it's happened sometime between a year ago and now and you know like i said i'm really not mad at it i just now i know to be a little bit more cautious of the corners so that doesn't happen and like i said it is something that i might be able to buff out but i just haven't tried so now i'm pretty much going to wrap up this video here i am going to insert a clip of me putting my items that i'm going to be using for the week in this and i'm also going to go ahead and insert some up close views of the bag especially this corner so that you can see it but that is pretty much it for me i'm going to go ahead and close the video out here and I thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this bag or need any advice on picking this bag or anything, definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I would love to know if you own this bag and you've had it longer than two years, how is it held up? You know, I, obviously I've only owned it two years as of May, so I don't know what a five year wear and tear is gonna look like. So if you have any insight, definitely let me know. And anyway, don't forget to subscribe before you go. I'm getting close to hitting like the thousand mark. I finally hit over 500 and that's so exciting. I'm so, so happy to have anyone following me. I just love being able to talk about the things I love with people who have similar interests. So it would mean so much to me if you did subscribe before you go. And I will see you guys in the next one. But definitely stay tuned for the end of this video so you can see some items inside of it and the up-close shots. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.